Once again, God, thank you for everything. <laughs> what? I heard what you said. I was just laughing. It was funny. I'm sorry. I hope you don't think I was eavesdropping. Um, no, it's okay. I'm just having one of those days. I know that's a little much to say, I just... You don't have to explain. It was funny. Besides, I get it, the coffee here sucks. It's just so annoying. You'd think with the school's budget, they could afford coffee for the faculty. I mean, it's not like it's Starbucks. I've seen you around, but we haven't really talked. I'm Jessica. Hi, I'm Molly. You're Mr. Banks' new assistant, right? Yeah, how did you know? Mr. Banks is good friends with Mr. Kulak. He's the teacher I work with. I overheard them talking about a new assistant, and then I passed by his classroom and saw you, so I just figured. You're a teacher's assistant, too? Yeah. Well, it's nice to see someone my own age around here. There's quite a few of us. You just have to know where to find us. Well, it's still my first day, so hopefully I'll figure it out. Do you want to sit? Uh, I don't really have a lot of time. Just for a few minutes. Uh, yeah. Just a few minutes, I guess. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Why? I don't know, you just seem nervous. No, I'm fine. I just, just, I'm fine, really. Okay, I didn't mean to judge or anything. I'm, I'm just tired. It's nothing against you. I'm just like this in general. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. I guess it's something I need to work on. No, girl, you be you. If anything, I may need to chill. What do you mean? Well, people tell me I have a strong personality, and sometimes people tell me that I can be a little much. So I told her, I, I can't do this, and I won't. I, I mean, who has time for her bullshit? I just, I just can't deal. Look, Jess, like, I came out here just to get my mail, you know what I mean? I'm not trying to have a full conversation right now. Oh, I'm sorry, am I bothering you? Yeah, a little. So being quiet isn't always the worst thing. No, don't say that. Trust me. If I'm still here, it says a lot. I usually can't get myself out of conversations fast enough. So why are you still here? Because you invited me to sit. Well, you didn't have to. Wait, so then why did you invite me over? I don't know, you just seemed cool. Plus you were funny with that coffee thing. Thanks. I don't know how cool I am, but thank you anyway. I didn't want to sit because I've never really been that good at talking to people. I don't always feel that comfortable. Well, you're talking now. Well, I'm not a mute. I'm just shy. Well, like I said, there are many worse things to be than shy. What, like talkative? No, more like... Hey, Jesse. Speak of the psycho. How are you doing? I'm fine, Becky. Thanks for asking. Well, I'm getting something to drink. There's no more coffee. Really? Damn. Oh well. I guess I'll just have to go without. Well, don't let me keep you two. Bye, Jesse. And you are? Molly. Well, it's nice to meet you, Mary. Bye, ladies. I cannot stand that bitch. What do you mean? She seems pretty nice. I mean, a little annoying and stupid, but nice. Don't fall for it. She is one of the fakest people I've ever met. I don't know. She seems pretty okay. Oh, please. She acts like this lonely little girl, and yet she has notoriously been with more guys than you or I can even count. Believe me, she'll be fine. Did you see that outfit? Also, I hate being called Jessie. It pisses me off to no end. Yeah, I get that. I hate when people call me Mall. People call you Mall? Yeah, my mom would call me Mall. And ever since she started doing it, people just associated the name with me. I have always hated it. Well, when did she do that? Oh, Mal, are you mommy's little girl? Mom, God damn it! stop. Not long enough. Well, no offense to your mom, but that one isn't really a 
popular nickname. It's more of a made up one. Have you ever told her or anyone for that matter that you hate being called Mall? Other than everyone? Yeah. Why do you hate the name Jesse? Hey Jesse. Hey, hey Jesse. Hey Jesse. What do you want? What are you and Heisenberg about to go cook up some meth? <laughs> it's a long story. I get that. I'm gonna go get something to drink. Do you want anything? Okay, thanks. Yeah. Jesus Christ, I could really use a friend. Oh my god, that's hilarious! Uh, thanks for inviting me over, Megan. Yeah, of course. Yeah, it's really a lot of fun with you here. Oh, thanks. Hey, would it be okay if I use the bathroom? Yeah, sure, it's right downstairs, right behind the steps. Alright, thanks. And clearly the whole family of freaks. I mean, who cares if you're friends with her brother? Why does that mean you have to invite her? Apparently she has no friends. I mean, duh, who would want to be her friend? She's so dull. I know. I, know. I mean, she really should just get used to the fact that she'll never have friends because who the hell would want to be friends with her? Hey, so I think I'm gonna go. Oh, really? Why? I'm just not feeling that great. Oh. Um. Well, thank you for coming. Um, we had a really great time. We should do this again real soon. Yeah, it was really nice having you here. Sounds great. Bye. Jesus, that was fast. No problem. I mean, I just grabbed them from the fridge. I know it's not a latte, but it's the best that they had. That's fine. I hate lattes. What? I'm not into all those flavored bullshit things. It's just not for me. You know, you're really funny. Am I? Absolutely. You should open up more. What do you mean? Well, this morning you told me you were shy and you seemed uncomfortable at first, but once you open up, you're really funny. I don't, I don't know. Well, I do. I mean, I might not be the most popular girl in the world, but I just try to relax and be myself. Well, believe it or not, I'm better now than I used to be. How that I do find interesting. Thank you. No, it's just... Uh, there I go again, talking my ass off. I'm sorry, let's just change the subject. Okay. So, where are you from? Here. I mean, not here. I mean Long Island. I know what you mean. Where on Long Island? You know Wanta? Wait, you're from Wanta? Yeah. So am I. No way, where in Wanta? You know the bowling alley next to the supermarket? Wait a second, across the street from the church? Yeah. I grew up right around there. Are, are you serious? Yeah, I lived there my whole life. We must have lived like five minutes from each other. This is so crazy. How do we not know each other? Well, to be honest, I wasn't really home that much. Why? It's a long story. Oh, come on. I mean, if you don't want to tell me, you don't have to. But if you're afraid I'm going to judge you or something, I'm not that kind of person. No, no, it's nothing crazy. It's just it's that my parents got divorced when I was six. And while I was living with my mom in Wanta, I spent a lot of time at my dad's. I'm sorry to hear that. My parents divorced too. No, no, don't be. I don't really mind it. And I was so young when they broke up. And they've always gotten along when I was around. But I'm sorry to hear about your parents. Thanks, but we did okay. My mom lived in Massapequa, so she was close. Wait a minute. Massapequa, two towns over? Yeah. That's where my dad lived. Okay, what the actual fuck? This is just getting weird. Did you go to school in Wanta or Massapequa? Wanta. I graduated Wanta High School in 2014. Okay, I graduated Wanta in 2013. Still, though, so many coincidences. So weird. So, how did you end up as a teacher's assistant? 
Well, I always wanted to be a teacher and this was the best job I could get. So I figured you have to start somewhere. Also, I just had to get away from my ex-boyfriend as quickly as possible. Why, if you don't mind me asking? He was just a horrible person. Not like Norman Bates horrible, more just like an asshole. So I wanted to get away and get a fresh start. And he just wanted me to be a housewife and not go to school. And obviously that was not going to happen. I can see that. So yeah, I've been doing this for about a year and working towards my master's. And then hopefully when I get that, I'll get a full-time job as a teacher. Yeah. What about you? What about me? Why are you a teacher's assistant? Well, to be honest, pretty much the exact same reasons as you. (laughs) You're kidding. No, I swear I'm not. You're something else, you know that? Well, one thing I can say that's different about us is that I've always had a love for teaching, so this is kind of a dream for me. Yeah, I know what you mean. Hey, can I ask you... never mind. What? No, forget it. No, no, come on, ask me. Are you sure? Because I don't want to be pushy, and I don't really need that much help, and I'm sure you're busy. Come on, ask me. Okay, well, you know how we have to go over the fire safety lesson? Yeah. Have you ever done it? Yeah, of course. They do it every year. Um, well, could you help me with it? I know it's probably annoying. And please feel free to say no. I won't be. That's what you wanted? Oh my god, you're making it sound like you need a kidney. Yeah, of course I can help you. It's no problem. Oh my god, thank you so much. I've been too worried to ask Mr. Banks. I don't think he likes me very much. That asshole doesn't like anyone. I heard his wife left him for his best friend. Oh my god, wait a minute. He was married? Okay, either she was blind or desperate. I think it was both. But seriously, I can help you. It's not a problem. It's pretty easy once you get the hang of it. Thanks. So, do you have a boyfriend? What? Oh, come on. I'm helping you with fire safety. We can talk about anything. I don't really want to say yes because it's still kind of early. Oh my god, what? Okay, now you have to tell me. I don't know. It's still so early. We'll see what happens. I actually have a date tonight. So do I. What the hell? I feel like we're the same person. What time is your date? 6.30. What is yours? 9 o'clock. Well, I guess we are different after all. (laughs) By what, like two things? I gotta go. Well, wait, I wanted to talk more. Me too, but it's my first day, so I'm really trying to make a good impression on everyone. Sorry. No, it's okay. I totally understand. Well, it was nice to meet you, Molly. You too, Jessica. Hey, Jessica? Yeah? What time do you get off work? Three o'clock. Do you want to meet me at that coffee shop down the block? Today might be a little difficult because of my date, but I'm free tomorrow at three if you want to. That sounds great. Awesome. I'll see you tomorrow at three. Good luck on your date. You too. Five, four, three, two.
two, one. I don't think he likes me very much. That ass like anyone. Line. Five, four, three, two, one. Do you want me to walk into frame? Sorry. Yeah. All right. Good luck on your date. Good luck on your date. <laughs> Good luck on your date. You too. <laughs> okay. And you are. I don't know that line. Your name. Mom. Oh, I'm Molly. Bye, ladies. What did Sorry. you say? <laughs> Cut. I gotta go. <laughs> Is that the full line? Well, wait, I wanted to talk more. Oh, I thought she had more to say. No. Okay, can we do that again? Yeah. Please. I know, it's just so annoying. You'd think with this school's budget, they'd be able to. Okay, wait, wait. Can I say something? Five, five four, three, two, one. Oh my god, she is such a freak. <laughs> Seriously, why did you have to invite her? I work with her brother and they practically beg me to invite her over. I mean, I only met her once, clearly the whole family are freaks. Seriously? <laughs> are we starting over? Keep going. Uh, no, keep going. Okay, um... Can you say your line again? I know it's probably annoying. Oh, could you do that? Yeah. Time? Well, could you help me with it? I know it's probably annoying, and please feel free to say no. I won't be. I know it's. Oh, one more time. Well, sorry. Could... <laughs> okay. Well, could you help me out with it? I know it's probably annoying, and please feel free to say no. I won't be. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> well... <laughs> no, uh, he was just a horrible person. Not like Norman Bates horrible, but more just like. An asshole. Okay. He was just a horrible person. Not like Norman ha Bates are. <laughs> okay. Norman hates. How are you doing? <laughs> Sorry. Was that the line? That was her line, yeah. Trust me, if I'm still here, it says a lot. I usually try to get my converse. Wow. <laughs> okay. I'm just like this in general. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. No, don't be. I don't mind. I was so young when it happened, and they've always gotten along really well when they're around me. I'm sorry you're... well. Wow. It's okay. Five, four, three, two, <laughs> one. I've always had a love for teaching, so this is kind of a dream for me. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, I know. <laughs> this is new. Okay. So do I. What the hell? I feel like we're the same person. Why? I'm sorry to hear that. My parents divorced too. No, um, don't be. I didn't mind. Okay. They've always gotten along really well when they're around me. I'm sorry you're... Well... You know the bowling alley next to the supermarket across the street from the church? No, that's my line. Oh. <laughs> Mike, you know the bowling alley next to the supermarket? Wait a minute. What? I know, I was acting. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, had to, I had to think about it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Who are you? Do you know the bowling alley? <laughs> sorry, that was my fault. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs>